Um, welcome to the tutorial for um, text styles in Microsoft Word. This is Word 2013. It will be slightly different in other versions but basically the same. So first of all you need to be on the home ribbon and we've got the styles pane here and what we're going to do is use the dialog box launcher to launch the styles pane. move that so it's more in view. Um, so in order to change all of the text that I've currently got in here which is all normal I hover over the normal style make sure you hover and not click click the drop down arrow and then click modify. So on here I can change the font style I can change the font size. If I wanted to change it to something isn't, that isn't in the list, click onto the number and then change that to what you want to press enter. You can change the font color, bold, italic, underline. If I want to change the spacing, go to format, paragraph, and I can change the line spacing here and the spacing after. When I click OK, all of the text that is the normal style will change. So if I click anywhere in all of this, it's changed to Tahoma 13. <clears throat> what I often do with the heading styles is I'll select by clicking in the margin area, collect the first, select the first line, format it the way I want it. So I'm going to go for a different style, a different size color alignment and then hover over the heading one style click the drop down arrow and choose update heading one to match selection so now wherever I click and apply heading one it'll be that style to show that again with heading two select the line you want to have change let's say the size Let's make it bold and then heading to update heading to to match selection. To apply this style click onto a line you don't need to select the line you have two, two options then if your styles pane is open you can click on heading two or up on the styles on the ribbon click heading two and it will apply it. If I now want to change the colour, hover over Heading 2 style, click Modify, and then let's say I want to change the colour, and then click OK, all of those styles will change. And that's how you do styles. The most important thing is to remember the dialog box launcher to be able to get the styles pane so that you can either modify or update. Thank you very much.